The success of these interventions is not about the programmes or the resources used, but can most certainly be attributed to the strong supportive relationships built up between class teachers, support staff and the children. The class teachers recognise and value the role played by support staff in raising attainment and they plan and timetable support staff to support learning and teaching in the classrooms. Meetings with support staff have evolved too, so that data and the impact of the intervention is shared with them and they have a voice in the planning and timetabling of the interventions. This approach is sustainable and is now used throughout the school for interventions in maths, health and wellbeing and social skills. We work together as a team and the support staff were very, very nervous at first for this extra responsibility as working closely with children. But very soon, because we were all working together and starting at the same point, we found more confidence in approaching this programme. We matched children to the adults where we thought they were suited and very quickly they built up positive relationships with the children. We thought that was the most important thing that had came out of this programme was the relationships that were developing with the staff and the children learning together. We also set up a meeting every two weeks so that staff could ask questions, um, support each other, come up with ideas and put their voice on the table. And because of the deliberate practice and the same format that they were using, they, you could see very clearly that they were becoming more confident with the children that they were working with. So as the months progressed, they were not checking in with me as much as they were before. Um, we were still using the meetings uh, to talk about the programme, but now staff were coming up with their own ideas and giving other staff ideas and supporting each other with this.